guy is Kayla Kawa from Clever Packs, Dalcoda, UK. And uh, this is Wacky Wednesday, our last one as well. And I couldn't resist it because I, I, I designed this box to be a candle holder. And I couldn't resist it. There has been a hype in the UK in the last 10 days. Or you got it or you don't. You like it or you don't. Um, it's Marmite. It's been disappearing from shelves. For some reason, people were going crazy buying it. And I thought, what not to give uh, to give a, a go by creating a box that would fit a Marmite. Which can fit a candle as well. Don't worry about that. Uh, but I thought it was such a nice... Um, and funny way actually to play with with this as a gift as it was a very important thing if you're an expat as some of my friends are and you don't live in the uk you will find um hard to get a hold on that i love this picking side box i'm just open so you, we can see what we've done here it's just when you open actually reviews what's inside and keep the box as a one piece so this is it how it is inside yes i have marmite inside i didn't have a big enough candle to put in this one in the house so i i just kept the marmite for for what we're gonna do so this is the box it consists in two pieces it's just the wrap which is the one that closes on you when you when you put the ribbon on and the base where that holds the candle or the marmite or whatever you want to put inside so this box i created dsp again so you guys seen some of my video i really enjoy doing it i got a stamp set this one is paisley's and posies and i i've used this stamp set a lot i'm trying not to lately because I think I used you many times. Um, and this box is uh, completely blunt out now. Three and a quarter. Let me just hold it. Three and a quarter by three and a quarter by two and a quarter. Yep. Yeah. So this is this box. I will just bring it what I've done, what I chose for our second box so we could we could have a variation of it and put my marmite away and I chose to do the wrapping side of the box with the cherry cobbler is our normal cardstock what I've done I created the DSP again but using this one of my favorite flower um, designs is with this flower patch it comes with 19 stamps and it, you can vary quite well you can see it being used and loved by me on this one and the base is going to be that we're going to use is in black i'll give you the measurements in a bit on the top bit just under the ribbon i have this tag ish thing that would help holding the box together when we're finishing off and the ribbon so let me put it all away so i can bring the scoreboard and put this ribbon away as well so this doesn't need scoring we're just gonna wrap around and just slightly pinch when we get to the time and we're gonna have the the this is the box holder that what goes inside of the box and i'm calling this one the box wrapper so we see the thing that goes around so let me get my scoreboard i'm gonna score the wrap first so this wrap is 11 and a half by six and a half inches and we're gonna we're gonna score on the long side on one and five eighths four seven and one quarter and nine and five eighths and we're gonna turn around and do score at one and five eighths and four and seven eighths okay let me just put to the side and i will score the holder at half an inch let me make sure 
pictures on that place and one and a quarter on all four sides. This is all the scoring that we need to get done. Let's so just put this away. Let's punish the score lines that we've done. This bit needs a circle cut it out of it what I did I used the circle sorry I forgot to take from the, the shelf the circle layering layering circles frame lids so what I need to do is just to get into place again because I wanted this to be centered and not moving when we are passing through the big shot okay And here we are trying to center this as best as you can. Where my big shot cut from. Here we go, I'm gonna go through. So here it is. If you want you can use this as a tag or your for your box I just prepared something else so in advance I'll show you later okay so let me now burnish the scores on this one and I absolutely love this this okay this is it we just need it now to cut as you see there is an angle to our box and we will cut there afterwards. The first thing that we need to do is just to cut all the, the lines on the side. Which is this. And just a straight cut on these ones. On all sides, on, all, on both sides I see. cut and now we're gonna glue these two sides inside so we just put the glue here on this side and we're gonna fold and firm into place this is the base for our for our wrap Now we're gonna put some glue on these tabs and glue inside to make the edge that closes. So let's just get the glue goes here. And we're going to repeat this on the other side as well. What we need to do now is just to cut the sides of it, which is just holding the box 
like this and put your, your scissors just against the edge of it. Making a right mess today. There we go. And the same on the other side. Okay, now we have the box and we needed to put the holder inside so let me put it to the side so we can come with the holder I'm just gonna use my snippets because the scissors they are big enough now to do these ones we scored earlier and what we need to do is just to get the corners ready Here we have already. I'm just tidy up here, throw it away. What I wanted to do here is I'm gonna add double side tape on both sides. I'm sorry, on all four sides. Okay, return tape. get the tearing tape in place and just add it to the sides here. Okay, as we use the tearing tape, I'm just gonna use fast fuse on the tabs here so we can put it together Okay, let's get this in one. Fast fuse is so used to use, and I, for filming, this is the fastest glue to to be using. But even when you're doing projects, they actually require a little bit of handling, and you need to wait until one thing is ready for the other one to be ready. Then, fast fuse for me is the best choice. So what we have here is I have the holder where the bot in this case the bottle but you could use a, the kind of wood bus holder still so you just choose the die cut according to the width of your condo but I find pretty much I found lots of places they have this exactly the same so here it is we're gonna put it together now I'll just get my piercing to to get my Let's get this paper from the tearing tape out and get it in place. Let's see if it's going to glue a little bit where it meets. Yes. And now we're going 
to just center this into the wrap. Okay, right. get your bone folder and just go around and just make sure everything is stuck in place. Doesn't bug me to see the design under here. If it does, you just can cut a square, which is three inches by three inches uh, square, and then attach it to the bottom before you attach this together. But here it is, the box is in place, and now it's ready for to be closed to avoid being cutting again. I just um, scored there an inch on each side. What I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna cut just a little notch on each of the sides and make into look into a banner. Same thing goes on the other side. Just to give some shape. Told you that I could do with this. I can't pick up anything down when it's flat like this. And then here we go. So the box is here. And we're gonna use this ribbon, which is comes from our season catalogue, is a cherry cobbler satin ribbon. It comes as a duo pack. The other one is garden green. That comes in in this one so what we're gonna do let's just assemble and I'm gonna get the ribbon around see if we can actually make a bow actually I'm not gonna attempt a bow but I'm going to find where I added my I have a label to go in it a little tag I have a label to go in here just a little tag I have used tin of tags which comes from our season catalog as well but it's very very versatile it's 16 stem but I have been using quite different ones I got this one stamped with this is for you and what I'm gonna do, just gonna come here and try to just make another knot around and add it to the shape. This one I'm gonna make into a bow. This gold baker's twine comes in a trio pack actually. And what we can do is just come in, reduce the size of this one. So yeah, all finished off. And this is our pick inside box. Of course, it's a Marmite here. And for those who are fun, <laughs> I hope you enjoyed. Um, and I have put all the details in my blog which is uh, cleverpacks.co.uk you'll find the details on the video or how to contact me if you have um interested on getting a catalog for the season or even the annual catalog just drop me a line and i will be happy to do so so um, i hope you enjoyed and happy crafting bye